This is the inside of Rivian's factory, and this is WSJ reporter Mike Kalias. Now, while you might associate this factory with the R1T and R1S, when Mike went there, he found something surprising. A huge chunk of this factory actually makes vehicles for just one customer, Amazon. The company ordered 100,000 vans from Rivian as it begins to electrify its delivery fleet, and the scale of production at Rivian's factory shows just how important that contract is. See, across the auto industry, startups and legacy OEMs are all competing to try and win big contracts to electrify commercial vehicles. But what is it about these contracts that's so important for automakers? Let's find out. So right now, there's a lot of momentum in the US to electrify commercial vehicles, like delivery vans, school buses, and even ambulances, across private companies and the government. We have 600,000 federal vehicles that we, the federal government owns. They're going to all end up being electric vehicles. Now, there are some 8 million commercial fleet vehicles in the US, and even though that's just a fraction of all cars on the road, electrifying them is still creating big business opportunities for EV makers. It's clear to me that the Amazon piece of this story is, is a big one. Mike saw firsthand just what these fleet electrification contracts can mean for automakers. Number one, it gives you some stability of, of demand. I mean, you've got this built-in demand over a multi-year period. I think that sort of stabilizes you, not only from a working capital standpoint of having that money that's been invested, but also just knowing that you've got one customer to focus on, you're not building custom orders for thousands of different people. That can also help streamline your manufacturing process, as instead of building vehicles that have a wide range of configurations, you can just build the same design over and over again. So who has secured these contracts? Well, Amazon also has a deal with Stellantis for their Ram electric vans. GM's electric subsidiary Bright Drop is making 500 electric vans for FedEx and says it has reservations for Walmart, Hertz and Verizon. And the biggest commercial player in the US is Ford. Ford's always been uh, sort of the 800 pound gorilla in the commercial vehicle space. They're going hard after these, these customers. The company has an electric van and its electric F-150 Lightning, which it recently customised for US police forces. And then there's Canoe. See, in the first quarter of 2022, the fledgling EV startup issued a $125 million loss and announced that there was substantial doubt about the company's ability to continue operations. But then Canoe secured some commercial contracts. The company received an order of 4,500 of its vans from Walmart and an additional 12,300 binding orders from two van rental companies. Now, in the third quarter of 2022, Canoe was still losing money, but with production starting in November, these contracts could prove to be the vital lifeline the company needs to stop it going bankrupt. But while landing a contract to electrify a company's vehicles can help an automaker, it doesn't always guarantee their success. See, even if you have demand for your EVs, getting hold of parts like batteries, motors, and other supplies has been challenging for automakers, whether they're making consumer vehicles or commercial ones, and prices are only getting higher. Yeah, it's great to have the demand and have customers and contract orders in place, but it doesn't change the dollars and cents of this being a super capital intensive business. So watch this space, because with over 8 million commercial vehicles on US roads, you could be seeing a lot more of this in the future.